New police technology was on display this morning outside the Springfield Police Department Training Center on Battlefield Road. The SPD says it's used to train new officers and keep veteran officers sharp. Color 10's Carissa Codell got an up-close look at that technology. Six departments signed up to check out that new tech, and they even let me get a first-hand look at the virtual reality training. We're always looking to have the, the best training available that we can give officers. Today, the Springfield Police Department hosted the Axon Roadshow, where officers from around the area were able to come and test out some new technology. We recently purchased the Taser 10 and implemented that system earlier this year. We also acquired the Axon Virtual Reality Training System so that our officers can use that in the training situation, not only for the Taser usage, but also community engagement and people dealing with mental health crisis. SPD recently switched to a new Taser that it says is safer for the officers and the community. This is the Taser 10 here. It has 10 shots available to the officer. It was created to hopefully reduce the number of police shootings. Hopefully the Taser 10 is going to reduce the number of times that an officer has to go to lethal because now they have 10 shots to actually get the subject down and under control. I was able to go through a virtual reality training where first I was the subject experiencing a mental health crisis and then my perspective changed to be the responding officer. You can only read so much about what happens in these scenarios, um, but being able to kind of get that experience of, wow, this, the hallucinations, audio and vis visual hallucinations, um, you can better work with that person when you have that scenario in real life. It'll give you feedback and it'll allow you to restart at certain points in the scenario. And then you can figure out, hey, maybe I should try a different approach. And there were new drone models also at this road show. SPD expects to get an upgraded model here in the coming months. They're used to help with things like finding missing people and tracking speeding vehicles. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.